Go ahead, Kenneth. Good job, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sir. Uh, I don't think the AFA's bus campaign have been too uh, strong enough in their stance, saying that there probably is no God, that's not good enough, really. At the same time, I will admit, as a non-believer, that there is no scientific proof that definitely that God, that an intelligent designer, does not exist. But my personal basis for being an atheist is there is scientific evidence that scriptures from the Bible may, in fact, in fact, probably are false. Like, can I ask you, if you're a Christian, do you believe, that, as it says in the Bible, that the earth is only 6,000 years old? No, I don't. No? No. So therefore you're the not... Bible, really... The Bible wasn't written by God, it was written by men. Yeah. But there's a lot of serious misinterpretations as well. And if Christians and other clergy are going to try and brainwash children and believe in God from a young age... I wouldn't worry about that, Kenneth. There's not much brainwashing going on, or if it is, it isn't washing many brains. There's hardly... Apart from Jewish people and Muslim people, and uh, in some areas, Catholic people, there's hardly any religious people in the country at all. The rest of the churches are empty. Well, don't you think that instead of asking atheists, can you prove that God doesn't exist, don't you think it's the believer's side to actually prove? No, no, because I'm not forcing you to believe in God. I don't have to prove anything to you. I have faith in God. I can't explain everything. All is not yet revealed. But I believe that anyone who listens to the voice of Luciano Pavarotti or watches the wings of a hummingbird beat or sees the perfect harmony that the earth could be would uh, have to have a really pretty far-fetched um, uh, sense of logic to believe that all of this happened by accident. Well, don't you think that blind faith is detrimental to humanitarian efforts? Well, in what way is my what you call blind faith uh, harming my humanitarian efforts, Kenneth. I think I've got at least as good a record as you on humanitarian you're, efforts. Not yours personally, but worldwide you see fight, people fighting in the name of religion. Who? Who's fighting in the name of religion? Um, Who, who's fighting in the name of religion? Well, the conflict between Israel and Palestine... It's got nothing whatsoever to do with religion. It's about land. It's about a piece of land that once belonged to one group of people who were driven out and supplanted by another group of people. It's nothing to do with religion. It is. It's the Jews and the Muslims. No, it's not. Uh, you've obviously uh, not noticed that 12% uh, of the Palestinian population are Christians and that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, whose family came from Nazareth and who died in Jerusalem. Okay. Ah, I got you there, Ken. Thanks for the call anyway.